The reason for all the weather ruckus. Strong cold front slicing its way through northern Utah right now, so it's pulled out of East Idaho, and that's why the winds backed off quite a bit. Still some leftover moisture behind the front, some isolated and widely scattered snow showers on the southwestern part of the state, south of Boise and around Mountain Home, and some isolated activity too in the central mountains, but this is what that has left behind, which isn't a whole lot by comparison. Much calmer weather for the weekend, I'll tell you that right now. Temperatures out there already freezing for most areas. American Falls just barely above freezing, but even at the freezing mark over in the Magic Valley, Haley's had some snow this evening. 30 degrees is their current temperature. 21 for a current up in Chalice. Chalice tonight, you'll be 11 degrees colder than you are right now. And at 10 is probably a bit colder than you were last night. Your neighbors around you will see temperatures in the single digits. Mackey around 5. Arco will see a low temperature of 5 degrees. And for most of the Snake River Plain, lows will range from the upper teens to the mid-20s. Idle Falls tonight, 18 for low with a mostly clear sky. Still enough wind out there to notice if you're going to be out and about. But if you're going to be like me, you're going to be sound asleep overnight, so you probably won't notice the wind like we did last night. It woke me up a couple of times throughout the night, so not quite as strong. Thank goodness for that. 24 for a low temperature at Pocatello, mostly clear, breezy overnight. Then the winds will back off just a bit tomorrow. No 40s tomorrow, so not quite as warm, but at least we won't have the high wind. So a nice trade-off, I think. 38 will be the high in uh, Pocatello with a mostly sunny sky. Partly sunny for Idaho Falls right at the freezing mark. I know at 45 was so nice today. It would have been even better if we didn't have any wind. But tomorrow, at least we won't have nearly the wind. Wow. Wind gust of 67 miles per hour in Idaho Falls. Hurricane force at Pocatello. Yeah, we don't need that anymore, that's for sure. Temperatures on the forecast map in the afternoon. Dillon, Montana, you'll get above freezing. Your neighbor to the west over in Salmon will hit 37 in the afternoon. Arco, mid-20s, so certainly colder than you were this afternoon with that warm front before the cold front moved in. 29 will be the high temperature in Soda Springs. Travel tracker, much better day to be on the road tomorrow. You'll see lots of sunshine, maybe a snow shower or two in the morning in Jackson, some snow showers in the morning in Elko, some light snow up in the Panhandle, but everywhere in between, perfect. Yeah, don't have to worry about the crazy weather we had today for the most part. Southeast Idaho, Chevy Dealer's seven-day forecast. Well, we got that crazy time change for Sunday. We'll have to give up that hour we got in the fall, so make sure you set your clocks ahead one hour before you go to bed tomorrow night. Then as we go into the work week, it starts warming up again. Rain and snow Monday, all rain Tuesday and Wednesday with temperatures in the lower 40s, at least for one day. Rexburg, you've got a cloudy end to the weekend and a little more than just clouds on Monday. Rain and snow, and even Rexburg will see all rain Tuesday and Wednesday as temperatures warm. I mean, it is March after all, so... I guess we should start seeing some rain around here. Teton area will be mainly snow as we start off the work week. And for the Central Mountains, just a partly sunny weekend. Rain and snow kicks in on Monday, and that rain and snow will take us all the way through Wednesday.